All right. Good afternoon, everybody. Happy Monday. It is a chilly Monday here in the lovely state of North Carolina. Um, haven't turned the heat on for the year yet, so a little, a little bundled up for, you know, what started off as a 42 degree morning. So wasn't quite ready for that yet, but hope everybody is doing fine on this Monday. I do have a different microphone set up. I've got a little boom arm mic here now sitting in front of me. So hopefully the volume is a little bit better. Hopefully you can't really see it and it doesn't interfere. Uh, it does help me out. I can now see my hands in front of me versus having to look through a microphone before. So hopefully all that works out. Hopefully the volume's a little bit better um, and we can kind of go from there. So as people jump in and join, I will be asking how the volume is working out and making any adjustments as needed. So with that, kind of the plan for today is just to run through Arena. <clears throat> Before we get started on that, I am going to switch my masteries. Ooh, I hadn't looked at the offers. That's not terrible. That is not a terrible offer. Um, I'll have to think on that one. As you can tell, I'm down to eight. I did do an R2 recently, so... Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking I may pick up one or two of those just to, to top off my uh, tier three and tier six. So I'll have to see, you know, I'll play it by ear. Um, and you may hear some uh, window sounds and all that. Like always when I do these during the day, my work computer is beside me. So you'll hear it going off just in case there's any notifications of anything I actually have to jump and take care of. Um, you know, I've said it a couple of times before. I kind of work a split schedule. Um, I work mornings and then evenings. Um, I work as a, I, I manage projects. I'm a, you know, a project manager for a company and a lot of my projects are on the West Coast. So I start early in the morning for East Coast and then come back and work again in the afternoon for the West Coast stuff. So uh, it works out nice, you know, allows me to stream now. I may start streaming, you know, later at night. Um, I'm thinking probably the time frame will be around 7 p.m. Uh, if I start doing it at night, just to see if I can get some more. And I may do two streams today, one now, one then. Haven't decided yet if I'm going to push for Werewolf by Night. I would be getting off to a late start if it is. I had to do some more fights and had a meeting that didn't get over until about 1.15, 1.20 my time. So had to grab lunch and do my war fights in that amount of time. And, you know, we'll have to see. Um I'm leaning against not with 8.3 coming out. I'm not going to want to take the time Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday evening uh, and Thursday morning to really jump in and do arena. I'm going to want to spend that time in 8.3. I'm going to do most of 8.3, if not all of it on streams. Um, so you can watch me get frustrated and you get a good idea of, you know, someone who is not you know, the absolute best at this game and someone who doesn't have the biggest roster roster in the game, how, you know, I kind of approach it and how I go through it. So, you know, that will be something to behold. I'm looking forward to it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to, you know, how I'm going to kind of break it up. It depends on this new format, how it works out time-wise. You know, if it is something that I can do, you know, 8.3.1 and 8.3.2 in one sitting, I may do that, and then three and four, and then five and six. Um, that That's yet to be determined. It may just be, you know, chapter one in one stream, chapter two in the next, chapter three, and so on. So we'll, we'll see there. I haven't quite determined that. I do have some time off work um, since I'm having to travel for work this coming weekend, um, which will be nice. I can spend that doing... 8.3 it just kind of worked out that way um so you know looking forward to that i know some of the content creators out there are rapidly testing the buff that is hit for um red skull sorry blanked on his name and i'm actually multitasking and running my second account auto fight through some quests on my ipad so give me one second here let me Get another path started and an energy refill. Nope, didn't need an energy refill yet. So, alrighty. So we got recoils on. Let's jump in. We're going to go ahead and get started. Like I said, I am right now at this point leaning very strongly towards not grinding for Werewolf by Night. I was originally going to do it. Um, I had planned on doing it. I kind of thought through my schedule and it would work out. 
but I don't think I want to. You know, I can save for the feature that's coming out. You know, I have a feeling going through 8.3, there's going to be quite a bit of six-star shards with Battlegrounds coming back and the milestones there. There's quite a few six-star shards. So I just think I am going to bypass the grind. I was kind of, in, you know, thinking really hard about doing it. And then my plan, like I said, coming into probably this morning was I was going to go ahead and grind. But as it got closer, I've just decided not to. And one thing I'm trying to do is trying to, you know, not screw up my timing completely um, for other game modes, but, you know, not necessarily look at my phone, but look at my monitor. So I'm not always looking down while I'm on the streams uh, and see if I can't get the timing down. There is a little bit of a delay there, so I don't know how much I'm going to do that. I just don't want to throw my timing off anywhere else. I did put out there my kind of rank up and a small damage comparison video on my most recent R2 um, 7 star. If you want to go check that out, that's out on the channel. I put that out there this weekend. Um, got a war video out there. I've got another one coming up. I've just completed my fights for the ninth war of the season, so only one week to go. Uh, for Loki does have some room to make up. I'm not quite sure exactly what is going on with... Um, you know, the master's bracket and things like that. It just seems really weird. We've got the same record that we've had many years past, and we've been, you know, upper end of the second master's bracket this year or this season. We are, you know, at the top of plat one. So things that we've got to work on and improve. We're off to a good start this war. Um, still a long way to go. We're, as in for Loki, we are about halfway through I think all our fights um, and we're in good shape you know the other alliance has a little bit more clearing to do but they're in good shape right now as well um, you know when I got done with my fights it was one death to one death you know but like I said I think we have maybe somewhere around 50 fights left to go and they had roughly 100 110 so anything can happen in that time so we'll have to wait and see you know, my fights went fairly well. You know, I only had three this war, uh, just the way it worked out instead of the typical four that I get. But at least one of them this time was one of the minis on Boss Island. So I like that. Um, and believe it or not, that was the quickest fight that I had in the war. Streak's still alive. I'll give away that spoiler. But that was, you know, a pleasant surprise. I did very well. Probably overboosted for it, but I'd rather overboost and not need them than underboost and need them. So, you know, the other thing that I've got is I am trying to put more videos out there. Um, I'm trying to do, you know, what I'd like to do is Monday through probably Saturday, do a stream um, and then, you know, maybe one video each day as well. If I can come up with something, there's going to be days where I just can't figure out anything that I need to do a video on or post anything out there. So there are going to be days where I don't, but I'm trying to come up with even, you know, small little snippets of something that I can put out there. You know, since I'm not grinding for werewolf by night, I may do a nighttime um, incursions push tonight with sector six. Uh, I will probably get it started off stream uh, and get through at least room eight, if not room 12, to get all the big hacks and uh, see if I can get a good build. Because if I don't get a good build, I'm not going to continue pushing. I would push it out and, you know, try again on Tuesday. And the only reason to push is because once I get through the next, that Sector 6 incursion was run, I can open another incursions crystal. Um, and that may, I don't know if it will make a difference, but it may make a difference. Uh, for the stuff coming up in 8.3. You never know. I doubt it, but, you know, it, it's worth having done and having it out there and ready. And once again, ready and not need it, then need it and not have it. So, 
don't know if it will make a difference, but it may make a difference. Uh, Game's being nice to me. It's given me advantage in a lot of these fights. And the other reason I'm not going for a werewolf by night, I honestly haven't spent much time looking at his kit. You know, I know he's decent. Um, I, like I said, I just have not spent any time studying his kit at all. You know, they gave us Morbius right off the bat and kind of my, all my videos and all that watching went to him because I had him. Um, and since I didn't have Werewolf by Night, just really did not want to spend much time looking at him. Um, the other thing I put out there over the weekend was just kind of a little Morbius clip from when I did incursions and used him in Sector 5. They're not, I mean, it's not the biggest damage in the world, but it was, you know, first time using him in Arena. And it was just a nice little snippet that we could show, that would show some of his damage and you know, how well he does. Okay. So, you know, as always, you know, if there's anything that you want to see, something that, you know, you've got questions on, something that I could answer, I'll be glad to do that. Um, um, so... You know, just however, whatever you guys want to talk about, you know, I'm willing to discuss football. I am a huge football fan on top of everything else. Anything that you want to see, something that, you know, you've got questions on, something that I could answer. And sorry, I got distracted by my Alliance chat real quick. Let me, okay, there we go. Had to click off something there. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. You know, Morbius is nice. He's going to have his his place. Um, he's going to be nice in Battlegrounds, which are coming up Wednesday. You know, for this next Incursions run, uh, I know Herc is going to be the primary. So it's going to end up being, you know, Herc, Heimdall, and I'm not sure yet who I'm going to bring for that other champ. Very good possibility I'm going to bring Gore of all champions in there. You know, maybe I can rank him or ramp him up a little bit, you know, and, you know, he does do some good damage if you can get his rotation down. You know, and there are nodes in there that enhance bleed damage, that enhance poison, that are, you know. So, you know, there's, there's just nodes in there that take advantage of being able to have, you know, bleed vulnerability, poison vulnerability, um, things like that. You know, I think if I can ra get the right ramp up and the right nodes... You know, I think he would be one that would do fairly well in incursions. You know, the other thought is Morbius, but, you know, that is more, you know, if they don't bleed, there's not really a whole big benefit to bringing him in there since he's unawakened. If he was awakened, it would be a no-brainer, you know, have that, his immortality and the Heimdall immortality, that would be nice to have, you know, kind of like with Hercules and Heimdall. So, not sure what we'll do there, but, you know, for the third going in, I thought about Angela. I do have her up at R4, Sig 200, you know, and she can, in later rooms, do a lot of damage if you can build her right and you can keep Odin on the team. But the problem with that is, you know, I like I like having that safety net of Heimdall. Um, and I can't really do, I could do Angela, Odin, and Herc, but it seems weird to have both. Angela and Hercules on the same team. They really fulfill the same roles with the exception of Angela would give me a champion that um, can shrug off debuffs. You know, that would be the only nice thing about taking her in is if I run across a, you know, a mortal abomination or, you know, something like that, you know, or a node that, uh, like Biohazard, I'd be able to bypass those and not have to worry about them too much. So she's a consideration. I just, you know, without that Heimdall safety net, I don't want it to get too costly. I don't mind paying a little bit to, to get through it. You know, it's worth it for the T6 
uh, basic and a T3A. It's worth it for the signature stones. It's debatable now whether it's worth it for the Awakening gem. I think I've got eight generics and a couple class, and it is now just a generic that's in there. Um, you know, definitely worth it on my mini account. I don't know how much it's worth it on this account, at least for the Awakening gem. You know, there's shards in there. I definitely want the seven star shards. I want the six star shards for the featureds. So, you know, it's worth doing for that. It's, you know, I just think it's worth the run through. I just, you know, that, that Awakening gem has lost some of its savor. I guess we go that way. So trying to get a variety of different things together, have some different items out there, some different input, some different thoughts, you know, just really trying to determine what everybody wants to see and what I can do and, you know, what I can learn in the process. Because that's what most of this is for me. I'm enjoying learning the process of getting my system set up and streaming and doing things like this. You know, to me, it's something new, it's something I haven't done before. I like learning. I like, you know, discovering new things and learning new talents. So, you know, the whole design of thumbnails, I'm not, a you know, by any stretch of the imagine, I am, imagination, I am not a graphic artist. Um, but it's fun using the software to, to learn how to do some of that. Um, you know, I, not the, you know, when it comes to streaming, I am not the greatest at it, but it's a skill I want to learn. It's something I think will be helpful to me, not just doing YouTube and I've got to dex out of that. Um, but in my professional career as well, you know, talking on camera, being used to doing this type of thing, you know, is something I'm having to do more and more. Um, the other thing I think it'll help me with is kind of some of my nerves when I do things like Alliance War, which I've talked about in the past on, you know, I get really anxious and, and nervous when I'm doing those fights. And I think having people watch me um, while my face is visible on screen will help with that some. You know, so lots of, I think lots of benefits to doing this. You know, I, you know, my stand, where I kind of stand out and I'm a little bit different than most of the streamers, as you can tell by the gray hair or the lack of hair, however you want to look at it, uh, I am a little bit older than most streamers, at least for this game. You know, I think there is an audience of this game that is slightly older. You know, I know in my alliance, most of them are probably... 15, 20 years younger than I am. But, you know, I know there are people out there that are my age that play this game. So maybe I can help them, you know, show them that it's not just a young man's game, even though when you look at the list of people going to Battleground Brawl, you know, it is younger people. Um, you know, we've got that coming up as well. Kabam did put out the schedule for it. So, you know, I will be tuning in. Uh, I unfortunately cannot make it to Vancouver. I originally had planned on it, got very close to buying my tickets, and then the project uh, that I'm working on at work got delayed a week, which me meant that basically I could not go to Vancouver because I will be stuck in California for that week, which isn't too bad. You know, my wife's able to come with me on that trip, so it'll be a, a nice trip to California. Um, I will still be streaming some, uh, with the exception of probably... Um, maybe that Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, but we'll see. That I'll deal more with that closer to that time next week. All right. Let's see here. Let's go there and there. And then class advantage all the way around again. That, it's happened more times this start of this arena stream than it's happened in a long time. Okay, play nice here. There we go. All 
All right, now let me get a parry and finish you off. And we're almost done with kind of the build up in the basic arena. And then we'll jump over and we'll do the um, featured arena. Like I said, I unless something drastically changes between now and the time I am done running the beginning part of the basic arena, I won't be going for Werewolf by Night. I was, you know, going to. I just think with everything that's coming out, new battleground season. Um, 8.3, you know, both of those coming in two days. I just don't see me running any champions Wednesday afternoon, Thursday morning. Just don't see it happening. You know, it gives me time, too, that I can um, tonight and tomorrow night hit uh, Realm of Legends and grind out some health potions. Uh, I've got plenty of the four-hour crystals if needed that I can pop open for health crystals. Uh, I, at this point, should have plenty of revives. Um, I can check on that. I've been running the Apothecary, making sure I hit the 22-hour events, saving what revives I can, um, you know, but I don't foresee needing that many. I did get the deal at the end of this month's event quest so i have those as well uh, so that gave me some team revives that gave me some healing potions you know i can always run the throne breaker or whatever the version down is from paragon i guess it's throne breaker and the cavalier version or whatever they call it now um you know there's been so many changes to that that i couldn't even begin to tell you. I can always run that or some of the lower ones to get more deals for potions if needed. Um, but I probably would not do that. I do have many units. I am trying to save those many units, though, for the upcoming Cyber Monday in six weeks. So we are, I think today is the official six week out, if I'm not mistaken, just by kind of doing it in my head. Maybe seven, three weeks. You know, it should be six. So, you know, we've got that coming up. I do want to save. Hopefully by that time, I want to have at least 25,000 units saved up. Um, I did use 1,000 of the units I had saved for the deal, like I said. Um, hoping I don't have to use anything else. You know, but I'm not going to wait around to complete 8.3. That's not how I do it. You know, I, I'm one of those people that get things done in two to three days, typically. Uh, if I'm not streaming, now that I'm going to try and stream it, it may take a little bit longer than that. But, you know, I typically get the content done very quick, and then I complain that there's nothing to do. Um, and then I just do that while I'm doing Arena. Is You know, I wish there was more to do in this game. But, you know, I also know at the same time, I am the person out there rushing through all the content and not saving anything to do. All right, so there is the start there. Oops, let me see what that message was. I don't think it's anything I need to take care of. Nope. Perfect. I like it when that happens. All right, so let's go ahead and do the same thing. I think for the six stars, we're going to run our rank twos versus the rank ones. Just something different. Um, I ran rank twos, you know, the last one, but been running rank ones up until now hey they put a night crawler in there for me lovely i did take my rank caller recent rank caller night crawler up to rank three uh recently just in case for you know a battlegrounds meta in the near future or something like that or even in the distant future you know he would be good on defense you know um Took a couple others up recently to rank three just so that they would be there and available for defense as well. You know, I don't mind putting a couple R3s in if they're going to be for defensive purposes. I would probably take them to rank four, though, if I was actually going to use them. Um, you know, 
That is yet to be determined. And let me fix my camera here a second. Just notice it's a little higher than what it needs to be. So let me try and do it through the software that I got set up. And there we go. Whoops, a little too much now. That's where we wanted it. Okay, I think that gets it. So, you know, we've got lots of stuff coming up. If you haven't done Karina 7 for 7, um, that was actually a fun challenge. I wish I had counters or had chosen a different path in 7.4.6. That was the one that I regret the most, that kind of... I didn't focus the way I should have, and I didn't bring who I should have brought. You know, I should have restarted it. You know, I know that, but I was also ready to be done with it. Um, so I just didn't go the way I should have. But that was really the only the only chapter that I really didn't have something that worked out the best. Now that said, now that I have figured out since then how to play Gore, I think he would have been perfect for the path. You know, that's why I brought him. I thought he'd be good, but I wasn't sure exactly how to play him. And, you know, was trying to kind of learn on the fly. So I think now that I know how to do it, I could run that path again and have no issues at all whatsoever. Um, I think the path would go really quick, <laughs> you know, and... Um, you know, it would be a little bit different scenario than what I ran across when I tried it the first time. Oh, let's see if we can get this guy. Nope, we're not going to get him down before he goes to 15. Yes, we are. You know. Come on. There you go. Of course you're going to evade every single time. All right, now let's get a parry. There we go. That should finish her. Okay, so I hope everybody is having a very good Monday. You know, my Monday has started off pretty decent. Um... You know, I was very pleased with my war fights. You know, wasn't too concerned with them. You know, there are really three fights that should be straightforward, but can go south very quick if you're not careful. Um, I pushed one of them probably a little further than I should have. And in a way, kind of just got lucky. Um, I was prepared if what I was doing didn't work out and came, you know, back to haunt me, uh, I boosted accordingly, you know, but, you know, they could go, what I did was probably not the best strategy, so I'll just put it that way, and you can watch it in the video when I do it later on today. But this is, you know, like I said, streaming for me, this is part of it. This is, you know, me learning. Uh, I'm just going to sit here and talk whether people join or not. I would love to have conversations going in the chat. I'd love to, you know, get to know you guys. You know, so I think that will help the channel grow. Um, you know, I'm not ever looking to do this as a, a full-time job. I am here more for the fun and the enjoyment of it. You know, typically... When I'd be doing this part of my arena grind, I would be, well, sometimes I'm sitting in this chair. Sometimes I'm on the couch that's next to me uh, with the TV on, you know, kind of just vegging out, just chilling and watching TV and getting really sleepy in the process. You know, this is at least keeping me engaged, whether there's anybody on the stream or not. You know, it's keeping me focused on what I'm doing and I kind of move through it quicker. So in a way, streaming is saving me time um, and I enjoy it. 
So the combination of the two is just very nice for me, and I'm glad I started doing it. You know, it'll be a matter of seeing over time if I can find things that oops, interest people enough to come join or, you know, maybe solidify a different time slot um, that I'm going to be able to stream consistently um, and maybe a time slot where I'm not having to whoops, look at my work computer from time to time to see what people are messaging me. Um, you know, typically it's nothing urgent, but, you know, I know the one time I don't look over there and pay attention to it, it's going to be something somebody needs an answer right away. And, you know, the ramifications, you know, I don't think there'd be any, but you never know. So let me kind of take a look. Nope, nothing more that I need. Perfect. All right, let's take a look at these matchups. Black Widow, I almost took her up to rank three this weekend too, uh, yesterday during level up. I just couldn't think of anywhere she'd be useful. You know, maybe in Battlegrounds if the meta is right. You know, she can be sneaky with the fact that you can't always get a parry off. She's going to evade randomly. Um, you know, but she doesn't do a whole lot of damage. And, you know, really the, oops, I didn't mean to parry there, but the, the kind of random evade and, you know, not being able to parry every time are really the only thing she's got going for her in that kit. All right, let's take care of that. And, all right. Craven was a champ that I was excited to pull early on. You know, he's another one of those kind of stacks up in those list of champions that, you know, just don't really have a use for. You know, I don't, can't recall the last time I was going into a quest saying, man, I wish I had a ranked up Craven for this path. Okay, thank you. You know, that to me is a sign of a champion that just isn't that great. You know, he does nice things. He has some nice features. He's a decent defender. But even there, you know, we don't, pretty sure we don't play so he crave it anymore. I don't think anyone has one ranked up, so it's probably maybe one of the reasons why we don't, but. Okay, Doom, I'm tired of fighting you. Okay, sorry about that. Had to sneeze there real quick. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just go this team. All right. Hey, Morbius. I get to. Hmm. I have to go that way against him. I think I mentioned it before, Punisher would be another one of those that for the few, you know, a couple tweaks, he would be a very good trophy champion. But overall, I haven't really found much of a use for any of the trophy champions. You know, Jessica Jones is maybe the only one. Um, you know, I have not taken her beyond rank three. Let's just go and that should finish. Hey, Legend, how's it going, man? How's your Monday? Hey, 
And let's get that done and finish him off there. Appreciate you joining in. Uh, the stream's pretty good. Um, you'll have to tell me if the volume is right. I got a kind of a boom arm for my microphone, so it's sitting in a different position. It's a little bit closer to me and um, a lot more comfortable for me to, oof, forgot about the glide, and that may do me in. Let's just do that. Now we're just going to go for it. There we go. Oh, great. Good. I was listening to the playbacks of some, and I just thought it was a little a little softer than I knew I was talking. So figured I'd do something a little different, get this office of mine set up. It keeps where the mic was sitting before. It was actually in between my hands and in front of my phone, so it made it harder to play. But now that it's up off the desk, it is a little bit better position for me. And now all I have to do is figure out, you know, where I want to put my camera and get it set right. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to bring it down from where it's at so that at least when I'm looking down at my phone, it's more of I'm getting closer to looking into the camera than where it's at now. Now it's on top of my monitors and, you know, shooting over the top of those. And I just don't like the positioning of it. But things to come that I'm going to... Kind of do some tweaking to my overlays and get those working the way that I want them to. And then I think we're going to take the uh, stream more nights in prime time. I've kind of been wanting to use this time slot just to kind of get used to doing it, get everything built up and ready. And then, you know, Lefty typically streams around 5 o'clock my time, you know, 5 to 7, somewhere in there. Um, I may be, you know, I'm kind of leaning towards doing something near... Uh, the tail end of his around 7 o'clock Eastern. We'll see. Um, I think tonight I'm going to stream uh, an incursion stream. Um, I'm going to get it started off stream, and it would just be probably the last 10 to 15 rooms of the incursions. I want to get, you know, make sure I've got all the right hacks first before really doing anything on it. Because if not, you know, I don't mind throwing resources at incursions, but at the same time, I don't want to waste resources. So if I can't get the hack build the way that I think would be good, I will drop out even you know as late as room 12, 13. I remember you talking. <laughs> he, he's a little tricky. Um, he smashes a lot of people, even in Tier 1 Wars. Last war when we faced Noon, if you see the war videos out there and KT talks about one that they had one death, it was to gore on that node. So, you know, to give away my rank up video, I did take my gore to R2 and he is on that node uh, for my BG and defense. You know, that's a, it's a tough fight. It is, if you don't bring the right counter or somebody you're very comfortable fighting gore with, it's going to go south quick. It is going to be hard. And, you know, it's... Gore, when you fight him on other nodes and in other content, doesn't seem that bad. You know, that node combination is just just killer for him. I mean, you can't parry him, uh, so you can't use one of the better counters. You know, you can't use um, America Chavez, who I really like to use fighting him. You know, he, she's probably my favorite for for fighting him. She just does so much damage so quick. She can take care of him. Um, okay, so Spidey 99 thought Scorpion could do him. Yep. Uh, you know, he can. He can do that fight. It is not very easy with him. Um, I think I, well, it wasn't that note I took him on. And I've taken him on with Scorpion quite a few times in different spots in preseason and stuff like that. And can be done, but, you know, he builds up. You got to make sure that you're in the uh, the rupture, so that you know you're not placing debuffs that are going to increase his um, whatever those his buffs are called. 
Cos- um, not Cosmic Quest, whatever they are. I can't remember what the official name of them is. Um, but yeah, you know, so you just kind of have to be careful. Yeah, S99 is a good one for them. You can, you know, once you get that, your S2 off and you get that wither on, if you can keep it up, then you can just sit into his block uh, and let the ruptures do the work. Unfortunately for us, S99 is one of the champs that's typically banned all the time. Um, they're doing, I think this war though, we actually could use S99. Um, we got Silk and Titania and Hulk. My fights weren't too terribly difficult this war. They were fights that could go south. Well, just like pretty much any Alliance war fight, could go south very quick. But at least they are done. I like having my fights done and out of the way. The longer I think about them, the less likely I am to um, one-shot them. <laughs> I start second guessing that initial plan that I've got in my head. You know, there's one fight that I had on Boss Island this war that, you know, I could have gone several different ways. I had a plan that I came up with in my head that I wanted to try, you know, and, you know, I thought, and I'm, it, was, it ended up being the, the plan that needed to be done, but, you know, it could usually, you know, it could go really bad if I didn't, you know, and if I had tried something else. It just may not have worked out, so. Let's see, so Herc, Torch, or Silk. Yeah, those three are good. Uh, I don't, I can't recall the last time I've used Torch in War. I haven't used them this season at all. Did I use them last season? I may have used them for one fight last season. Yeah, I think that's it. I think it, probably in two seasons I've used them for one fight. Um, for some reason, we don't do a lot of Herc um, in war. We should. He's not always banned. We do a lot of... Um, wish we could do Silk more. Um, I love my Silk, but she's typically banned. She is so good for this current Alliance War meta and will be so good for the Battleground meta coming up. You know, fortunately, I like that... They're kind of overlapping the two because I did rank up quite a few champs for the meta for both attack and for defense. So I am, in a way, looking forward to this battleground season. I'm going to push a little bit harder than I did last. Um, I do still have a little bit of travel, um, but I have figured out that I can still get some uh, battleground time in even when I'm traveling. So just don't think I may even do some from the plane. You know, I typically wouldn't, but, you know, it doesn't seem like it's too bad. And if I disconnect from a flight on or from a fight while I'm on a flight, it's not the end of the world. You know, that's the other thing I'm kind of working on with myself is just even in battlegrounds, taking it a little bit more easygoing um, and not getting too upset if I die, which will take me some time. I don't know if I'll ever be completely easygoing with it. I don't know what it is with parrying Rintra lately. I've missed him more than I hit. I had that issue with him. I want to say it was Saturday doing something. I don't remember what I was doing, but same issue. I was missing the parries left and right against him. Wasp is such a good counter for him, too. People don't use... I don't use her enough. I think she is one of those champs that could have more use in a lot of different areas than what she does. She's just so easy to forget.
And nothing like a tanky kingpin fight. Kingpin and Rintra. Those are two fights that are so much fun in early rounds in Arena. There we go. And Scorpion. I forgot about him in there. Did have a good Scorpion fight in war. Last war. Scorpion is one of those fights for me. I take him in usually once or twice uh, every Alliance quest. And it's one of those fights I either kill it or I get killed. <laughs> Um, there's no middle ground. It is one or the other. It is I either do it and he doesn't touch me and, you know, no evades and all that. Or I hit into him, you know, one time when he has the evade up and I don't realize it, you know, and try and do an intercept the evades and just five hit combos me right into oblivion. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look and see how war's doing. Um, was very close earlier. Okay, we are still deathless there, and it is still one to one. Okay, got a little bit of gain on them as far as the number of deaths, but or the number of kills that we've got in, but it's close. It's going to be close the whole way. All right. Let's see what we have here. I wanted to check on my stash just to see how many revives I do have. That one. Is good so that's not going to disappear on me so health and energy yeah I think we revive wise we're in pretty darn good shape you know that is 36 20% revives 46 of the 40s 12 60s 14 team I'll have a couple more of the 40s from the apothecary well maybe one more 40 from apothecary if i get lucky another couple 20s um solo 22 hour events i'll have another couple 40s there so you know i think we're gonna be in good shape i don't foresee needing any more than that i would hope i don't unless you know the boss is really something extremely hard and something i just don't have a counter for all right Let's go ahead and do this, and we're actually going to do something. I Let's go ahead and reset so I can hit the help on all these, get these out of the way the first time. I really wish they would put a help all button. Or just automatically put them into the help request pool. This having to hit this after I run 60 champions through, having to do this 60 times. I guess I could sort and filter them out, but I don't want to have to keep changing my sorts and my filters. Oh, it's just, just one of those limitations of the back end system that they've got that, you know, it's scary that if they put a help all in there, they're afraid that it could break the game. I do remember back many years ago, though, that when there was a champion that people wanted to arena grind for, um, as alliances started hitting help all the time, the game would lag. I mean, they would start hitting, you know, helps for their alliance mates who were grinding for it. And when it was a big champ, it would just start that first night. Uh, and at certain times, the server would just lag and just be next to impossible to play. I mean, it would lag during the middle of Alliance War fights. It was, it was not the greatest. Oops, I believe I'm in the right arena for this. So let's go there. I don't think I've ever run the seven stars right after getting to 10, so this will be interesting to see how it goes. 
Yeah, Kingpin and Abs Man are, are both pretty good. I like Kingpin. I'm not a big Abs Man guy. I did take mine up, and I'm trying to learn to play them better, but, you know, I am more a straightforward fighter. I don't like having to worry about what form I'm in. You know, the more I have to think about in fights, the more likely I am to mess something up. So I just like the, the kind of the straightforward fights. I did use Abs Man for a couple of fights in War this season. You know, did okay with him. You know, got the kills. I know he's useful. I know he's got a lot of benefits. And speaking of gore, there he is. And now that I've figured out how to play him a little bit more, I can see where he's going to be useful even on attack. I don't know if he'll be useful in battlegrounds, but I can see in questing, um, maybe some boss fights, things like that. Uh, I, there's part of me that's kind of hoping that the hinting that they've done about a cosmic champ being the perfect counter for the boss in 8.3, that it's gore. Um, probably not going to be, but that to me would be awesome if he was. You know, I know it's not going to be Herc. I know it's probably not going to be Gallon. It's not going to, it's probably not going to be CGR. You know, they, I, they would want to do it with somebody that a lot of people have, but it's not broken. So it'll be interesting to see who it is. You know, the thoughts that I had were kind of, you know, maybe Angela, maybe Gore. Um, it's going to be one of the seven-star Cosmic Champions, I am pretty sure. Uh, at least that's my, my theory. Um, since I keep hinting at it and said that this was built with one Cosmic Champion kind of in mind, my guess is that they threw that Cosmic Champion into a, the seven-star pool. Now I hope it's one that I have, but if not, I do have the six-star version of pretty much everybody, so not too worried about it. Okay. Oops, let's get his lock on in there. There we go. I do have the Catalyst now for two more Rank 2s. I've just got to decide who I want to take. I've got a Mutant. And I know one it's not going to be, which is this guy. Um, before, well, it may be right after Battlegrounds start. That may happen. That first week Battlegrounds is in place. I've got um, three that I'm kind of debating between uh, Bishop who is awakened on as a R1 right now Domino and Storm Pyramid X um, so you know the Domino is not awakened so she's kind of trailing the you know because I think her awakened ability for defense in battlegrounds is just so useful you know and I've got a rank 4 sig 200 you know I think Storm X she is annoying on defense because of the glancing. You know, the higher health pool of taking her to R2 uh, and the higher damage she can do if I have to use her on attack, useful. You know, or Bishop. Bishop is just a pain no matter what. So I haven't decided there on who I'm going to do yet. You know, as far as the tech... It's really between this guy right here, just so I have an absolute nuke of a champion that will kill things quick and has been useful in a couple of the metas, or Hulkbuster right now. I think those are really the only two that I've got 
you know, Mysterio would be good for, for defense. And I know what R2 Legacy has used him a lot and even on attack, and he does some good things. He's just not my favorite champ. I hate fighting him, so I, you know, I could do him just to have other people that I know hate fighting him as well. But see, even here, Storm at R1, I mean, she'll be as quick, if not quicker, with a beefier champ takedown with her killing Kingpin than what, you know, Rocket did. Yeah, so I don't know. You know, just in the the tech class, I just don't have a whole lot that I can that I can play with if I want to take up one right now. You know, I'm not doing War Machine. Decent champ, useful, but I'm not doing it. Yeah, I did consider taking Arcus up over over Gore. I think Gore is a bit, slightly better defender, slightly more annoying, at least in Alliance War. And we needed one for Alliance War where we didn't need an Arcus. And I'm not, I like doing the resource management game, but I'm not one to save resources for a real long time. You know, I'm not going to play the, oh, I'm going to save this rank up for four months because X champions coming into the pool and I may be able to pull them. You know, to me that I've done that before and it's just not as fun. I'm trying to lean more towards, you know, rank those champions that I'm going to have fun with. And that's kind of my issue with the tech rank up that I can do. I'm not sure I'm really going to have a lot of fun with any of them. You know, Hulkbuster's probably the one of them that I would have the most fun with. And then we're just going to do this. And then we're going to take our hands off. And sorry for drinking a lot on stream. I had pizza for lunch and it was uh, saltier than what I like. Don't know what they, you know, I know cheese is a fair amount of salt, but their cheese had a lot in it. And then when it comes to Battlegrounds this upcoming season, I'm not sure on this guy here, Kindred, which one I'm going to put on defense. Um, probably my rank four six star over this guy. You know, I... It's a tough decision, at least for me. I don't know which will work out better. You know, I like the Awakened ability and the fact that he's SIG 200 with that Awakened ability for defense may be the way to go. And don't get me wrong, you know, I said I wouldn't rank War Machine. He does have his uses. They're few and far between. You know, he is better for the pre-fight than he is for the fight. In a lot of cases. Can be annoying on defense. If, <laughs> primarily if it's an unblockable special one. Don't think. Ah, that was supposed to be a special too. Stupid suppression. Oh, I can't believe you're dexing out of those. There. That's what that first one was supposed to be. Yeah, let me put 
put this up on the screen in case anybody has an alt or something that they haven't used in a while. There you go. If you've been away more than two months, you can log in and have a Iron Man. Decent. Not bad. I don't know what star level. I am seeing a six star crystal in there. So maybe if you're, you know, high enough, you know, Paragon Thronebreaker, they give you the six star. Do see seven star shards there. So it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Can't imagine them giving a seven star away. So. If you've been away from the game for a while and want to get back into it, you can get a free champ out of it. And, you know, Domino is one of those, like I said, that would be nice to take up to R2, but I think, really, 1%. Um, I think she's going to have to wait. At least to wait until she's awakened. So, and Black Cat is one that I'm learning to play more and more. I see a lot of uses out of her. Oops, forgot about the glide. Should have kept going. So many different mechanics with so many different champs now. before I get to the special two. So many different mechanics with so many different chances. Sasquatch would be another one if I had the uh, Mystic that I might consider, even on Awakened. That health pool that he gets at a seven star is just hard to get down in two minutes in a Battlegrounds fight. I think for, and you know, and he's pretty good on attack. You can get some massive special twos off. Come on, Red Hulk. Throw me a special. Thank you. Of course. Don't know why I tried to light intercept that instead of just... <laughs> Let's go game. There we go. Punisher 2099, I liked early on too. He was one of my early rank 3 SIG 200s. I used him in war quite a bit when I was in 2 Loki. You know, he was kind of my go to domino attack champ. You know, I'd pair him up with, with Beardo, so he would start with his battery a lot, you know, closer to being full. And I would do, you know, just kind of stay away from her at the beginning of the fight. And then when that battery kicked in, just go ham because she wasn't going to get to a full bar of power. Ah, I forgot about auto block. That AI with coming, you know, 
can counter from his heavy into a special so quick now. There, destroy that. All right, a couple more seven stars here, and we are done with the seven stars until tomorrow. Yeah. It would be nice if I can keep recoils on for the, the most of this arena grind. I uh, will turn them off Wednesday as 8.3 drops for a combination of things. I'm not going to run them during... 8.3, and we'll need to turn them off for Alliance War again. I hate that it counters or counts hitting into her block as a second medium hit in there. Here's somebody who's one of the few older champs that they buffed, that the buff just wasn't that great. I think there's two of them that really just were okay buffs. Not great. I think Spider-Man OG Spidey is going to get some play in this next meta. And I do have mine awakened as a seven star. So, you know, he may get some play. We'll see. Hmm, yeah, we'll just go that way. Spider-Gwen will be one that will get some play this meta as well. I don't think I'd ever rank my six-star up beyond, I think I have her at rank two. She may still be rank one. But the fact that she's a seven-star, you know, I'll bring her in at R1. With no hesitation at all. You know, this guy right here, Venom, would be one I would love to get as a 7-star. I have used the heck out of the 6-star version for a long time. Now, Sim Supreme is a... You know, in that last meta was you know kind of surprisingly good to me. You know, you didn't see a lot of people using them, but I would use them on a couple fights here and there. Um, you know, primarily he was one of the only mystics I had ranked up on my second account, and it did surprisingly well. All right, seven stars are done. I'm actually going to take a step away, fill up my water glass, and I will be right back. All right, seven stars are done.
I just realized all that time I was talking to mute. Awesome. Uh, I'll be right back again. <laughs> Sorry about that. For anybody watching, I was on mute. Um, so I will be right back. I'm going to go grab something that UPS just dropped off and I don't want to leave sitting outside since there's a threat of rain. So I'll be right back. I just realized all that time I was talking to mute. Awesome. Uh, I'll be right back again. <laughs> Sorry about that. For anybody watching, I was on mute. Um, so I will be right back. I'm going to go grab something that UPS just dropped off and I don't want to leave sitting outside since there's a threat of rain. So I'll be right back. So it's funny, I'd always laugh and figure, you know, try and figure out why BG would talk sometimes on mute and how he didn't realize it. Realize it now. It's really easy to do. So I just spent probably 10 minutes uh, talking to myself. Granted, BG has a little bit bigger audience than me who tells him right away. So... I apologize on the playback crew that uh, if anybody plays this back, there's going to be a lot of dead air. Sorry about that. Kind of didn't mean to be talking to mute for a while. But it does happen. Don't throw it. Eh. And of course I get hit. Good, you didn't throw it this time. Should be able to finish you with a special two now. I better be able to, because I just missed the decks. And I was pretty sure I parried there. Is what it is. It's arena. I'm and we'll get this guy down fairly quick. Okay, you can throw a special if you want. Uh, it's fine if you don't. There we go. All right, one more combo here if he wants to come off the wall. All right. Yeah, I don't think I had a grind in me. This is wearing me out just doing this little bit. Don't think I had a grind in me this time for Werewolf by Night. Um, yeah, let's go that way. If I get looking at my replay monitor, I end up missing a lot of parries. <laughs> More so than normal. All right, I've got about 15 minutes left. I think what I'll do is I'll finish off the R4s that I'm running here, and then we'll call it a stream. Like I did say earlier, I'm probably going to do an incursion stream tonight. I'm going to get it started off stream, um, see what boosts I can get or hacks that I get, and then depending on if, what hacks they are, if I think it's going to be good enough for a room 25 push, I will be back probably about 7 o'clock tonight to live stream the Sector 6, probably rooms 12 to 25, rooms 15 to 25, somewhere in that range. Um, those are the interesting ones anyway. Some of the earlier ones are okay, but they tend to go pretty quick, and I like... 
before I make a push, I want to make sure that I have a build that I'm going to make a push with. And we've got maybe, let's see, what do we have left here? 15 champions, 5, 10, roughly 15, so five more rounds. And then I'll check on war real quick. And mm, let's go this way. What the heck? I'll do a class disadvantage fight. No sense using AA against this guy. It's going to take too long. And I guess since he's running recoils, I could have gotten a Neuro off quick, but... Do this. Since he likes the concussions, we'll do this. Atuma's one I need to use a little bit more. Same with Zemo. And Zemo uh, just made quick work of that. And whole melt now. A couple neuros on there. And dead. All right. Yeah, we're we'll be able to wrap up this arena really, really quick uh, with the next when the uh, six star R fives and fours reset. Won't even have to have run the whole batch. So we'll be done with this one before too long. Ugh. What a combination of champs on the other side. I want to thank this guy. I mean, Arcus, Rintra, and Mordo. That's not a great combination of champs to run. Especially with that stupid tenacity. Just be done with it. And somebody's just getting home. Not sure if it's my wife, my grandson, or somebody else, because my garage door just opened up. And I wasn't playing his stacks right. Thank you. So tanky. <laughs> and especially with somebody who doesn't put out a whole lot of damage. That fight just is a long one there. I used to use Killmonger a lot for, believe it or not, back when the war boss was Medusa a lot of times. This was back in, I think before I joined 2 Loki, I think I was in... AVEM, one above all. Um, I would take the Medusa bosses with Killmonger. And Astral Vade, forgot about that. You know, it was kind of fun because, you know, ooh, we'll just do this. That should hopefully kill you. Um, it was kind of fun because you could, you know, get the tree strike so you could bypass your auto block. She had easy specials to evade, and then you could build up the bleeds, and then you could drop a special three for a huge amount of bleed damage. You know, that was that was kind of fun to do that. All right. A couple more rounds to go. Yes, we just do that. Okay, well, you're not going to come right into me so I can parry you. I'll just do that. And I think we're just going to go ham if you'll 
Okay, you gotta throw a special. There we go. The downside to doing this on stream is typically when I'm grinding arena, I will stand up and I'll walk around. Because it's hard to sit here and do all this. I sit most of the day, but... And finish off G1299. I've been very pleased. I've not seen her more often in this arena run. She's just more annoying than anything. And there's my 15 minute warning. So we will be finishing up here very, very shortly. And then hopefully I'll see everybody tonight. Mags, Void, and Apoc to finish it off. Yeah, we're going to go Mags right there. That's a good, good champion to have for that fight. Oops, I threw that in too late. Come on, just be a little aggressive. There we go. I hate Penny fighting Penny. You know, her AI, she's another one of those that just has an annoying AI. You know, to me, it's, you know, there's times when I'm fighting her that with champs that I just want her to back up uh, and she won't. You know, she kind of walks you across the screen to the far corner, you know, and your back's against the wall. And then there's times where you want her to be aggressive and she sits back. I don't think there's any in-between ground with those. And this should finish that off. And that should wrap us up. Uh, let me just take a quick look around, see if there's anything else that I want or need to do. Oops. And let's come here. And don't think I need to do or want to do anything else. Just kind of reading through the Alliance feed real quick, see if I'm needed, see if there's anything that we could do kind of on stream and there's not. Looks like KT is streaming, so I'm sure there are going to be people jumping over to there. And with that said, I think that is going to do it for me for right now. I do appreciate everybody that has joined in. I appreciate the you know legend here for chatting with me. And with that, I think I'm going to call this a stream and get back to work and start looking at possibly an incursions run tonight. So once again, thank you very much, and I hope everybody has a great afternoon.